Welcome back to another Hack the Box quick guide featuring Bash. We see there's a web server running on port 80, and uh, we're going to go check the server to see what technology it might be running. Now, looking at the server, we see it says PHP Bash, so we're going to assume it's PHP, so we'll pass that extension to GoBuster. And upon running it, we see a couple interesting directories. One of them is the slash uploads folder here. So we're just going to go ahead and see what that's for. Most likely for uploading files for the server. Maybe we can run them afterwards. Uh, we see it's empty here. Maybe that just means nothing's been uploaded. And then if we check out this slash dev, we see that uh, there's this php bash.php folder. So for sure, this is a PHP web server that we're dealing with. And it is a web shell, which is a gold mine for us as an attacker. Uh, they forgot to take this down after development. And so if we use the pen test monkey reverse shell, uh, we grab from the internet here, we can just change the IP address to our IP and we should be good to go as long as we're listening on that port 1234. And we'll host the Python web server so we can host that script so we can upload it to the server and then execute it through that uh, slash uploads folder. So we're going to make sure we CD into the uploads folder so it gets downloaded uh, in that location. And we'll use a wget to uh, pull it down onto the server. Upon doing that, if we browse to slash upload shell.php, we should have a shell. And we do. We see we are the www data account right now. So we're going to do a sudo dash l first off to see if there's any special permissions we have. And we are actually able to run uh, commands in script manager. So we're going to spawn a bash shell. And uh, upon doing that, we see that uh, there is an interesting directory called scripts in the root. And it has a test.py and a text uh, test.txt. Now, looking at these files here, we see they actually change every minute. Uh, but if we look at the cron tab, we don't see a cron job, but we know there is a cron job at play. And looking at the permissions, that cron job must be running as root because of the permissions. So just looking at the file, it's just a, a simple text file. And uh, we're going to edit that Python script to spawn a shell instead of create a text file. So entering that here, we can start a listener, and because the cron job was running as root, we should get a root shell. So now we just wait, and now we have the shell. We have rooted the box.